Bhagavad Gita, text 2.6 I no longer know which is better, to conquering or being conquered. If I kill the sons of Dhritarashtra, who are standing before me, I shall not care to live. Here, Arjuna's bewilderment speaks. He does not know what to do. However, in the midst of this bewilderment, he expresses a conviction that material life is futile. Whether he wins or loses, he sees no prospect. Thus he demonstrates his eligibility, adhikara, for approaching a guru. In the first chapter, Arjuna also demonstrates his qualification for sitting at the feet of the Guru. In verse 31, Arjuna exhibits knowledge of difference between the permanent and the impermanent by stating that he sees no ultimate good, Shriyaha, in killing. In verse 32 and 35, he demonstrates this passion for material gain both in this life and in the next. In verse 43, he shows an understanding of the difference between the body and the soul, when he acknowledges the soul's potential plight in hell. In verse 32, he displays both internal, shama, and external, dharma, control. He exhibits an absence of greed in verse 38 and shows tolerance in verse 46. Tracing the underlying eligibility of Arjuna, Madhusudana Sarasvati sees the first chapter's purpose in indicating the disciplic necessary for discipleship. Appropriately, Arjuna submits to this extraordinary friend, Krishna, asking for God's intervention in the form of Sri Guru. Thus, he lays the foundation for Krishna's speech. For God speaks directly only to those who realize that if we are to make a comprehensive solution to the material predicament, there is no other real shelter in this world than him.